Hey everybody, Adam here with Hometown Acres. Welcome back. So today is the big day. If you've been following our channel over the last couple of videos, you know that we took down a Widowmaker cherry tree and we kept the butt log for a saw log. Normally on this channel, everything that I pull out of the forest here goes for firewood, but something came over me and I saw this log and I thought, I'm gonna keep that for a saw log. And I actually have a family friend who has a sawmill. He runs a sawmill business. He's retired, but he runs a sawmill business. And he has a pretty interesting sawmill. If you've done any research on sawmills, you know there's a couple of really big name brands, Wood Miser, Woodland Mills, Norwood. And he has a sawmill that I don't think too many people have heard of before. So we're gonna give him a chance to explain a little bit about his business and uh, about his sawmill. Stick around. All right, so we made it up here. This is Bob with Hammer Custom Lumber, right? Howdy, folks. And uh, how, how long you been doing this, Bob? Well, I'll have the mill three years in June. So you've been doing custom millings for three years now, and uh, you're retired, right? Yes. And you're, you said you're 62? I'll be 62 in March. Just to give people an idea of like what what's your production is here, how many board feet would you say you do in like a week, a month, or? Well, it's it's selective. I mean, sometimes we have uh, customer spec lumber. They bring us a log, we cut it for them. Okay. To their spec, four quarter, eight quarter, you know, you name it, and the width, and uh, what they want out of it. But are these other people's logs that they've dropped off for you to mill, or are they yours? These are mine. So you'll mill these and then sell them. Right. Now, do you do more dimensional lumber or do you do more of like the live edge slabs? I do or? more live edge slabs, custom, you know, like countertops or a bar top or, you know, a bar. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> you name it. Headboard, footboard. Yeah. You know, big slab with. So tell us a little bit more about your sawmill here. Because I, in, in the intro to this video, I told everybody that, you know, you have a sawmill that most people haven't heard of. You know, most people are familiar with Wood Miser, Woodland Mills, Norwood. Uh, what were some other brands that you looked at before you decided on this one? Well, I looked down at Cook's, you know, Google it, sawmills, yeah. and I, you know, looked at all of them. Yeah. Um, but when I was, when I chose this mill, it gave me the most bang for the buck. If you go out and price them, you know, this size, this will accept a 40 inch diameter log. This cherry is only about 18 inch diameter, and you can put up to a 40 inch diameter log on this, and you can cut thicknesses you know, 12 inch thick if you wanted to for making beams or right. posts or whatever the case may be. I mean, it, it looks like it's up to commercial standards. I mean, it's got pretty thick uh, steel on it. It's got a commercial Honda, what'd you say, a 26 horsepower Honda yes. engine on it? Yes. So yes. it has good components and things. And I, I actually did some research on the, the company. I looked up the website and I think their slogan is, you know, more mill for less money or something along those lines. Basically, they're a value player in the sawmill industry. You can cut uh, 16 and a half foot long as it sits. And then I bought an extension that you bolt onto this end and it increases it by uh, six foot. So you get a 22 and a half foot long. And I that's have, and that's with the trailer package too. That's right, I got the trailer package. All right, so, so let's take a uh, look at the sawmill here. So I don't, I don't know if we mentioned, it's uh, Easy Boardwalk 40 is the name of the mill here. We'll get this log sawed up here.
All right, so we just finished up milling that entire cherry log. And when I first got here, I did not realize that this was a family business. So Bob has his two sons that help him with this. Bob, go ahead and introduce your kids. Yeah, this is my oldest son, Bob. Hello. And this is my youngest son, Michael. So how long have you guys been involved in, in the milling part of this? I've only been helping out for a couple of months. Yeah. I just do my best to be more of a help and hindrance. Yeah, and, and you said that you couldn't do this without them now, right? Oh, I well, I do have my partner, but we're both getting kind of old. Yeah. And uh, it sure is nice having some strong backs, you know what I mean? And I think you said you were going to have them do all of the custom millings for yeah, people Yeah, if we have a customer who wants to bring logs over or take the mill to their place, you know, we charge $75 an hour for milling it here and $100 an hour for milling it at another place because you have tear down, set up, right. and so on and so forth. Um, and Michael and Bobby... And my nephew Rick are gonna, you know, work on that. So it'll be under hammer custom lumber, but Michael and Bobby will basically be handling that aspect of it. So after milling up this uh, cherry, we were originally talking, you know, rough estimates with, you know, a lot of assumptions baked in. Five hundred and seventy-one dollars for this cherry log milled up. What do you think now with all these live edge slabs? We got how many? How many four quarter? Eleven one inch, eleven four quarter, and one eight quarter and one eight quarter yeah that all um you know minimum 12 inch uh wide up to 18 17 18 wide by nine and a half foot long so you leave that trim piece so you can get it down to nine foot or eight and a half foot or whatever but um you can't you can't buy these at lowe's or home depot um the widest you're going to get is like 12 inch which is actually like 11 and a half inch you can't buy this kind of stuff and because it's harder to come by that's why it yeah. garners a more premium price yeah and if you sold each one of these for 50 bucks you got 11 pieces that are one inch thick that's you know 550 dollars there just for the 11 then you count this two inch and add that on if that's 200 bucks that's 700 dollars right there out of yeah and so i don't i don't said 570 you know pick your poison they could go for 25 bucks a piece and it's still worth your while. Yeah, it's still worth more than firewood, that's for sure. I don't yeah. think, I mean, again, I'm, I'm brand new to this. I haven't tried selling any yet. I don't know the lumber market, but I would imagine 50 bucks for one of these wouldn't be too hard to, to catch. Oh, no. That's, I mean, I've had people buy lumber like this for much more than that. Yeah. But, yeah, that, that's a nice, that was a nice log. I mean, you know, you were going to cut it up for firewood before. In right. your previous life. <laughs> yeah, in my previous yeah, life. Yeah, until, you know, you saw this. So you can take a log that you thought, yeah, it would make some nice firewood. I can make 100 bucks or 100 or so off of it to something like this. And, I mean, if you're into woodworking, you can cut your own, you know, sticker it. Put it in your house. Put it on stickers. Have a fan blowing on it or a dehumidifier running during the day. Right. At nighttime, shut it off. Let it normalize. Then wash, rinse, repeat. Do the same thing over and over again, and it'll dry off in your house a couple months. Yeah. If you leave it outside stickered, you know, they say a year for every inch. So one inch thick piece would dry in a, a year, down to like 12% moisture content. Okay. You put it in your house, you've got, you know, controlled heat, humidity, and you're blowing a fan on it, and it's sitting up off the ground, and it's nice and flat. And we have boards that have dried out in a month or less. So anyway, I want to say thanks again to Bob. Bob, go ahead and tell us again about uh, the, the name of the company. All right, the name of the company is Hammer Custom Lumber. I have a Facebook page. It's Hammer Lumber. Just Hammer Lumber, not Hammer Custom Lumber. Don't know why we did that, but we did. <laughs> um, and the name is spelled H-A-M-M-A-R. Not ER. Like and, I, and I'll put a link down below so you guys can go check that out. If you're in the Erie area, that's where he's located. If you've got any trees that you want to save from firewood and bring them and get them milled up, it's a great place. He's got a really nice sawmill. But uh, yeah, I think this is, this is definitely a new hobby that I want to get into. I, I see a sawmill in my future. I've always cut firewood with my dad, and it's nice to see you guys out here, father and son business. And um, I think that's something I'd like to get my dad involved in with as well. And my partner Ernie too, right? Yeah, to yeah, you got a partner too. I yeah. Ernie. <laughs> but anyway, I think that wraps this one up. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, click that subscribe button, and check out some other videos. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Adam.